Hey y'all, so now we're going to put the planes together for the swords we're going to make for class. So if we remember, we've downloaded these weapons um, setups and these are the planes, the reference planes we're going to use to model our plane, our uh, Cinquetas and, and gla uh, Gladius is all set up. So let's get that going. So the first thing we need to do is look at the scale or the actual reference image to make sure, and this is the first one we're going to start with, that we understand the size of it. So we could do something in the correct proportions, but what we're going to do is just use the proportions that are correct on the on the texture, on the picture, because we know those are right, and use those and scale everything in the environment to match um, the size they need to be, but keep the proportions correct. So the way we do that is we say, we look at this, 215 by 1325. That's the size of the image. So if I come over here and I go to the um, plane viewport and I say front by pushing F, and I say take make a plane like this, and then I come over to the actual scale of the object, I would normally just say 13, 25, and then um, 216, I think it was. But obviously that's gonna be huge if that's 216 meters and 1325 meters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this pip, this decimal point all the way down here so it's a little bit closer to the right size. So like this, and then we'll move the point here and get rid of it there that. So now we have a plane. Oops, two is too far. I needed this to be... There we go. So that's the correct proportions compared to the image. So what I'm going to do is open up the image again and we're going to grab that Gladius texture and just drag it onto here. It's important that you grab it and drag it onto the object. If you drag it off the object, now Max has a way to stop yourself it'll come up with this error. Just make sure you don't say keep it, you say cancel. So you have this in the background and you don't want it in the background, you just want it on this object. Okay, so now we've got a plane. We've got the texture on it. We know the proportions are correct because the image is correct and we know that the scale of the image is matching the, the proportions and scale of the um, of the texture we're using. But if we look at it, it's still really big on one point three to five meters is huge. So we need to make it the size it needs to be for game purposes first. So what we're gonna do, in fact, what I'll do here is just go Gladius front, like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is scale it down. And the best way to match the scale of the weapon is to know how big it needs to be. And to do that, we're just gonna look again and this is the actual reference that I'm using to make that blade. And you can kind of see that it's right there. And since it's digital, it's all set up. And what we're looking at here is that it's 609.9 millimeters. So what we need to do is go on the internet. Meter, millimeters to meters, and then type in 609.9. And then we get this. To the millimeters, it's 0.0699. So we know it's 609.9, so we have 609.9, and that means that it's 60 or 0 0.6099. So if we come to the top viewport and we make a box and we scale it out like that, and we look at it from the front, and we change this to the height, because that's why we did it from the top, so when we um, the height is the last thing we grab, then it goes to the top, so it's 0 0.6099, like that. Now we know the correct scale of the weapon. So all we have to do is eyeball this. Now, generally you could do it on other ways and make it all perfect and everything, but we're just going to scale it, eyeball it to this correct size, because the scale is going to be right because we're keeping the proportions correct, but the size needs to match too, so let's scale it in, just like that. And now we don't need this anymore. So we now know that the, the weapon is the right size. Now what we probably want to do is go to the move tool and change it to zero, zero, zero. But you'll notice that that puts the center of the blade as the, um, the pivot point of the object. We need to fix that too. We'll go back to front, go over to this little octopus or menu or space invader menu and go to effect pivot point and drag down the pivot point, just keeping it just in one direction on the Y down to the center of that. And we'll change that pivot point, come back to here. And if we go to the move again, you'll see the only thing that's changed is this one, so we can say zero, and now it's centered on that. 
Now, when we start modeling something, we're going to want to make sure that it's not in front of it. So what I mean by that is if I make a box right now, I'm going to use this as my reference, and I make a box, it's going to be not only in front of it, but kind of blocking what I want. So what I usually do is I just move this back one space, just like that much or something. Okay? And that way when I model it and I make it transparent, I can see through it and do all kinds of fun stuff. So the next thing we're going to do is duplicate this. So I'm going to take a rotation tool and push shift. Shift is the tool inside of Max that makes things uh, duplicate. So I'm going to take this shift and shift and drag and go to here. And the one thing I forgot to mention is that I have, so I'll say cancel, I have my snap on. My angle snap is going to be five degrees per angle. Uh, it's going to snap to five degree angles. So if I turn that on by pushing A or clicking on that button, and then I shift drag, it will be right there, 90 degrees. That's what I want. I want exactly 90 degrees. And then I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go to the move. I'm going to change this to zero. And then I'm going to move this out to the side like this. I don't have enough room. So when I look at it from the side, I can see it that way and I can see it that way. So I can see both of them. The problem is it's still both the front viewport. So that's when I come back and I grab my um, other image, which is my side profile and I will take the side profile of the bodies and drag it onto that thing. So now I've got this, I'm going to change this object name to left, it's the left. Okay, so I've got Gladius 1 done. Let's go into the next step is organizing yourself before you start making duplicates because we're going to duplicate these things. So now I've got Gladius F and Gladius L right there. I'm going to hit this plus button. This plus button makes it a new layer. So my gladiuses are gladii are in the, their own layer. So I'm going to say gladius, oops, like that. And then I'm going to grab both of these, either by grabbing them here or clicking on them in here. Either way, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to control V. Control V is the shortcut for uh, duplicating something. By default, it's set to instance. You don't want it to be an instance. You want it to be a copy. So I'm going to say a copy. And now you'll see that I have F, Gladius F, and Gladius L001. So it's duplicated this object, but I don't want them in the same folder. So I'm going to say plus again. It's going to open this up to Gladius. Uh, it's going to put it in a new layer. And if I want to click on this layer to rename it, I have to click once and then slowly click again. Because if I click twice in a row, it will select both of them. So if I do this, it'll select that whole thing. So I want to click once and then click again. So this one I'm going to say Gladius 2. Okay, and then I'm going to change this one to be Gladius front, but Gladius two front. I should keep it consistent, zero space. Come to this one, two space, and then go to the end and delete it just to keep myself clean. So I'm going to have the Gladius front and the Gladius left, both there. I'm going to go ahead and hide the original Gladius because even though it doesn't look like I have it selected, if I drag a picture on there, I could gra drag it onto the wrong Gladius. So I'm going to hide the original Gladius. Make sure it's hidden in the Gladius layer altogether. Then I'm going to come back to here um, and grab my texture folder. Let me grab it up one. There we go. And in my texture folder, I'm going to grab Gladius 2. Let me move this over a little bit. Grab Gladius 2 left and Oops, grab Gladius 2 left and drag it onto there. And grab Gladius 2 front and drag it onto there. So now I've got two of them done. Now I just need to do the other uh, ones too. So I'm going to control V to duplicate it and say OK. And then I'm going to make a new layer. And this one's going to be Egyptian blade. Oops, and I apparently did not select it. So I'm going to click on this and click on this again. If by accident you ever see this red up, it means your auto can turn that off. Okay, do this and then go um, Egyptian wave. That. And then I'm going to come to here. Actually, I'm going to take this one. It's going to be very bonkers, so I'm going to make that a G. Okay, so I'll go copy. I like to say it's going to make my brain itch. I'm going to get rid of the M, numbers after F. I'm going to get rid of the Gladius 2 and paste in Blave. And I'm going to get rid of the numbers after L. Go to Gladius, get rid of Gladius 2 and paste in Blave. So now I have quick Egyptian Blave 1 and 2. So if I come to them, there we go. And I make sure I hide Gladius 2. I turn it sideways so I can see them both. 
and I open up my textures and I go to Egyptian Blade front and I drag it. And I go to Egyptian Grave left and I grab it. And then you just have to do one more. And that last one is going to be the Cinqueta. So we're going to go Control V and we say OK. And then I'm going to check the spelling on Cinqueta. Actually, we'll hide this first. Oh, we're going to go plus. And then we're going to go click in here. That's our C and I. Q U E D A, I think. Q U E A D A. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to have to retype that. I'm going to copy and then come to the blade. Do it again. And do it again. Hide the Egyptian wave, come back to my textures, and do some quite a front, and then some quite a left. And we're good. And that's it. That's all you had to do is have all of these into separate folders with their separate planes. They're all the same size. We made sure that the numbers are set up the same. They're all centered off the center points, and when we make our blades, they'll be perfectly centered. And we are done. And I will talk to you soon.